Goodman 5 ton. This was sold under Carrier brand. It's a Goodman 5 ton CPRT 60-1. That previously had a problem with, with one of the wire connections here. And I had replaced this, this wire harness all the way to the, the air handler and the thermostat. And from the air handler to the thermostat, both of those wiring harnesses. Problem was that I was getting a bad connection here, one of these, after replacing all that. And I had had the same symptoms. The, the compressor doesn't run and the fan doesn't run at the same time. And that turned out to be one of these wires having a bad connection, even though I had put in new wiring harness. So I just didn't get one of them connected right. And I chased my tail for a while. And when I found that, I was able to fix that and it ran again. Then I had the same problem with the compressor doesn't run and the fan doesn't run out here but the internal fan running both times uh on the air handler that fan was running so i of course checked these again to see if we were having the same problem and i couldn't find anything wrong with them but i did snip them and redid one at a time each one of these connections still didn't solve the problem what i didn't think to do that i do sometimes is with the uh contactor here you don't do this you're not supposed to do this it's not safe but i do it i, I push these in not with my bare finger like this, but I push it in and it forces a contact. And then you can hear the compressor and the fan fire up or they don't fire up. That will let you know whether the contactor's working or not. Well, this time I had taken my voltmeter and checked for voltage going into the contactor and out of the contactor because it had this little cover on it. I couldn't just push the thing. So I'm checking the stuff with my meter and I saw I had power coming out both sides for the compressor uh, under the proper conditions of course but the compressor was still not running so i was afraid the compressor was dead but why would the compressor be dead and the fan be dead at exactly the same time so that made me question i finally pulled this little cover off and look at what i found can you see that the piece of contactor fell out a little spring fell out and that thing is dead so Despite the fact that I did have voltage coming out right here under the right conditions, coming in both sides and coming out both sides, it still was bad. If you see a contactor, it's got a cover like this. You know, of course, pull your, pull your safety disconnect so you don't have power to here. But then take that stupid cover off and get a look. Because just because your meter says you got power going through there doesn't mean you got enough amperage. Doesn't mean you got enough power. Doesn't mean there's not something wrong. Is that contactor had me chasing my tail. So to sum up, simultaneously, the outside fan and the compressor not running. Check all my connections, especially the yellow wire, because the yellow wire has got to be powered up to power up the contactor. The other thing that threw me was I could hear the contactor, that slight hum from the contactor when it's pulled in and it's making contact. So shouldn't trust that. And I know, I know this is more frequently going to be something like the start-run condenser. But this time it was the contactor. Bad contactor. So I hope that helps you guys. And here's a pan back. Getting a good look at all the wires and where they go in case you need to know. In case you've taken something loose and can't remember. I'll just pan down across it slowly. In case you need to see. And I'm holding the two wires that go to the low pressure disconnect, which that's one of the things I checked because if the if the freon's low enough to trip that, it's not going to allow the compressor to come on, obviously, to protect the compressor. But that wasn't the problem. So I'm going to get this back together and get it going cold again. Let me know in the comments what you found out on the unit you're working on. Drop some info on what model you're working on. What's the same as this unit? What's different? Stuff that might help people, you know? Because that's what these videos are all about. They're all about helping people get stuff fixed as, as quickly and as efficiently and cheaply as possible and, and get unstuck. Oh, and don't try this at home. Don't do anything I do in my videos. Don't even do anything I talk about in my videos. You can end up burnt, bruised, and bleeding like me or electrocuted.